Ever wondered how rotary pile foundation concrete pouring works? Let's unravel this fascinating process together. The first step in the rotary pile foundation concrete pouring process begins with boring. A specially designed drilling rig, equipped with a powerful rotary drill, is used to bore a hole into the ground. The depth and diameter of this borehole depend on the load requirements of the structure it will support. Once the hole is bored to the desired depth, casing is installed. This is a hollow tube that is inserted into the borehole to prevent it from collapsing. The casing also helps to keep the concrete pour clean by preventing soil and other materials from mixing with the concrete. With the casing in place, the next step is to introduce steel reinforcement. This is usually in the form of a rebar cage, which is carefully lowered into the casing. The rebar cage strengthens the pile and helps it to bear the building's load more effectively. Now comes the critical step, the pouring of concrete. The concrete is poured into the casing, filling it from the bottom up. This is usually done using a tremie pipe, a long, narrow tube that delivers the concrete directly to the bottom of the casing. The concrete must be poured continuously to avoid cold joints, which are weak points in the concrete. Once the concrete has been poured and has reached the top of the casing, it's time for the curing process. This is when the concrete hardens and gains strength. The curing process can take several days, and it's crucial to ensure that the concrete is not disturbed during this time. Following the curing process, the casing is then removed, leaving behind the finished concrete pile. The pile is then ready to take on the load of the structure. To summarize, the rotary pile foundation concrete pouring process involves boring a hole, installing a casing, inserting steel reinforcement, pouring the concrete, allowing it to cure, and finally, removing the casing. Each step is vital to ensure the strength and stability of the pile and ultimately, the structure it supports. This process demonstrates the incredible blend of engineering principles and practical construction techniques that go into creating robust and reliable foundations. It's a testament to the ingenuity and skill of construction engineers and workers who make it possible to erect structures on a variety of ground conditions. So, the next time you see a towering skyscraper or a sprawling complex, remember it all starts with a solid foundation.